I just want to show. I rolled a 20 on my initiative, dude. <laughs> Ooh, we rolled well then. No. I rolled a 20 with a with an 8 modifier, so that's a 28. 18, on, 18 on my initiative. Hot dice. Hot okay, dice. guys. Try to do this one at a time, just for my sake. But uh, let's do... Um, fuck, for Galley then, I guess. 25 to 20. Anyone else besides Galley? No? So just Galley. Just Galley. Yep. Alright, um, 15 to 20. Yeet. Yeah, Magic, I got a 16. 18. 18. 18. Mm. Okay, Precision and Chupaka, what are your respective dexterities? The modifier, sorry. Uh, 3. And Precision's gonna beat you, probably. Zero. I got a plus four. Okay. Um, uh, ten to fifteen. Wait, yeah, that was everybody. Get a chance? What? Say sixteen. Sixteen. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. What's your uh, dexterity? Minus one, and chance yours was zero? Zero, yeah. Okay, so Magi is gonna go first, and then chance you're gonna go after him. Fantastic. Okay, as we enter combat. Combat. It is actually going to be. I mean, actually going to be. Galley, it's your fucking turn, man. Hell. Yeah. So you are currently stealthed. Yes. Um, I believe your movement speed is, it's like difficult terrain if you're stealthed. Is that correct, move. Firm or Deny? It's, uh, moved at half speed, uh, okay. but at the same time, how long have we been out in the field? Mm, like, since your arrival in Goldshire, or since you've taken position up at this north part? Well, since mm -hmm. we've been in the forest. Since you've been in the forest, uh, I'd say it's been roughly only like five to ten minutes since your arrival. Okay, yeah, he's still moving at half speed. Anything past an hour, um, it, it's my favorite terrain, so. Oh, interesting. Okay, Galilee, uh, so you can move a total of 15 feet. 15 uh, feet, not okay. through the bushes, unfortunately. You'll have to go around them. Okay. Yeah, three squares. Three squares, okay. Yeah, if you can would I like to diagonals? stay in stealth. Yes, you can. Of course you can. Oh, diagonal one, two, three. We're moving right here. Take cover behind. It looks like there is a little hut on this tile. So I'm going to stealth, stay stealth behind the hut three squares away. Fantastic. Awesome. You want to do anything else or that's it? That is it for now. Cool. All right. With that, we will go to Precision. All right, I'm going to go ahead. Like I said, I'm at about 100 feet in the air currently right now. I want to get a good bird's eye view of the entire center. Uh, I'm going to attack the Void Walker. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let me go ahead and do... Okay, so my hit... Uh, 27 hit. Fuck. Uh, yeah, oh. you fucking hit. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, roll for All damage, right. please. Uh, sorry, what damage. are you attacking? Uh, I'm doing a range attack with longbow. On which, uh, on the Voidwalker? The Voidwalker. Yeah. On the cool. Voidwalker, okay. That's the one I have Hunter's Mark. Fools. Interesting and TC. That is going to be... 28. Sorry, twenty-eight. Hang on a second. Let me let me do that again. Sorry. Okay. I think <laughs> it's double. I think it doubled out. It. Right? Okay. No, sorry. All right. There we go. There's so that's nine points with the longbow, and where's my spell at? 
Yeah, it should get it's a like bonus. It's like 1d6. And then it's a bonus for a d6, so... Yeah. Nine, yeah, so 10 points of damage. 10 points nice of damage. Dude. Good to know. Thank you so much. So as um, you release, uh, as you fly up amongst uh, the tree branches, uh, as you get to the kind of like the, the pinnacle of like the height of it, you, you pull back an arrow from your bow. I'm guessing it's a bow you said, right? Longbow. Longbow. Mm -hmm. So you, you cock an arrow in your longbow and, and with a dead eye shot, you just release it and it impales this void walker dead center mass and it like lets out a grunt as it definitely felt that one for sure um anything else on your turn precision no go ahead and, and turn it right there awesome with that it is actually going to be one of the imps turns Ooh. uh the imp right above number one in fact um after seeing this sacred flame fly out of nowhere and, and hit his uh, buddy Voidwalker, um, he's going to uh, make eye contact with Chance. And he's going to be like, Nah, not again! And uh, with that, he is going to cast Fireball at you. <sighs> stop rolling underneath the computer. That is a 16 to hit chance. That's the AC. Do I need to roll a save? Because that's a spell. No, that means it hits. All right. Seance, you are going to take uh, four points of fire damage. Yeah, what a flesh wound. This imp kind of like poof, throws this fireball in it. It sails right past Galley's stealthed face, and you kind of like, oh, oh like duck out of it last second as it poof, oh, kind oh, of impales oh, oh. and impacts into Seance's chest, and uh, you see a little bit of uh, scorch marks on uh, on your cloth robes. Um, With that, everybody else, yeah, the spacing is good. Um, it will be Chupaka's turn. Let's see what you got. Oh, Lordy, baby. Chewie of Paka. I'm gonna venture. Get to the hunter's mark. Upward. Over yonder. <laughs> into the woods, mate. Single target damage. I'm just going uh -huh. to Lumber Mill. I'm used to going right. <laughs> You're like in between the <laughs> tree line now. How's this? I did my three spots. You've got oh, six you total. have 25 uh, spaces of movement, so that's five. That's five spots, bud. Oh, fuck. Gally had three because he's in stealth right now, so he's moving a little slow to maintain his hit. One. Yes. Oh, with that, Sneaky I boy. approach <laughs> the northernmost <laughs> empire. All right, you are right on top of this fucking and little fire imp. I am ready to cast some acid splash. Ooh. Fuck yeah, dude! Roll Damn, me a dude. spell attack. Is that a twenty? Yes. Uh, roll me a d twenty plus your charisma modifier. Ooh wee! A twenty off the natural. Oh. Wait, you got a natural 20? 23, yeah. maybe. No, oh, dude! Oh, he nat 20. He we nat 20. You got, got crit table? first critical. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, my Chaka. God. And with that, Chewie. I look at my power source, and I thank it. It is the, uh, you can see that your uh, flask of mead is still over half full, so you're looking Yeah, Ellie! Hooked it up. <laughs> Ellie! Oh, yeah. I ventured up to seven earlier, hoping to find an inn. But uh, it was just a cobalt farm. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cobalt farm. <laughs> All right, Chewy. Um, how much? Uh, what do you roll for acid? Whatever. Uh, What's the damage dice. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You hurl a bubble of acid. And you choose uh, one, two, two creatures within range, with our five feet of each other. A target must succeed. Oh, so um, you can train it onto the Voidwalker then, I think. Ooh! The imp and the Voidwalker diagonally are within Spooky! five feet of each other. So uh, it's 1d6, right? So you will actually roll that dice twice. Wow. Because you got a critical. The 21 or the 6 one? 
Uh, the, the, the six foot. <laughs> this time I am granted a three. One more, man. Oh, yeah, done. Again. Plus a two. Equals All right, a five. five. I think the math is there. Is acid spray a cantrip? It is, indubitably. Fantastic, yeah. So you, um, you walk up to this imp with uh, incredible confidence. Yep. And uh, after really taking a, a decent sip from your flask, um, you will hold your hands out. And from the tips of your fingers, this purple bubbly liquid starts forming. And as you reach your hands out, it's like sprays onto both the imp in front of you and splashes onto the void walker behind, um, dealing, um, how much damage was it again? Five acid damage to both. Mm. Ooh. Very, very nice. I'll be here all week, guys. It's gonna be a fun one. Um, <laughs> as the acid hits the imp, its uh, flamish skin starts to sizzle a little bit, a little bit as the liquid hits it. Chewy, as you end your turn, would you please make me a Constitution saving throw? Roll die twenty. Roll I. Thank you. Uh, eight. Sorry, I'll try to keep that. Plus eight. Constitution. Is plus three on the Constitution. So eleven. Wow. Okay. Uh, mm. Unfortunately, you fail that. And uh, standing so close to this flame imp, uh, a little bit of its fire, uh, as you spray it with acid, actually kind of licks off and burns you for two points of fire damage. Ain't nothing a little flask set can change. <laughs> as I sip <laughs> my Pour flask. Pour some mead on it, Pekka. Um, with that, it is going to be... I am a tanky spooky boy. The Voidwalker's turn. <gasps> Voidy's turn, shit. Oh, fuck, dude. And, uh, after getting pelted 24. with this arrow, um, from mm. somewhere high up in the air, um, the Voidwalker's going to try to look for you, Precision. But he's dumb, and he can't fucking see you. <laughs> so instead, he will use his movement to try to go to where he thought the arrow came from. <laughs> uh, and in the midst of doing that, Chewie, he will find you, and he's going to uh, make a torment attack against you. Let's go. Oh, no. That is an 18 to hit. What's AC? Number by the AC. Almost for sure gonna hit. Yeah. Wait, what? Probably, right. I think Chewie's AC is like 13. AC, AC armor? Yeah, our armor. 13, 13, 13, yeah. Let it hit me, baby. Yeah, so it definitely hits you. Hell yeah, daddy. Thank torment you. Torment you. Ooh, okay, so that's going to do 8 damage of shadow damage. After the two I just lost. Mm hmm. Well, let's go, baby. 16. And, uh, on your next turn, before you do anything, I'm going to ha have to ask you to make, uh, if, sorry, if you want to attack anything besides the Voidwalker, you're going to have to make me a, uh, dexterity saving throw. Absolutely. I'm coming for you, Mr. Voidwalker. Because you're, like, basically taunted by him now. You're, he's, like, mm. called you a dick. And I have never like, lost you the duel. You nothing except the Voidwalker now. Also, uh, just for meta's sake, and I don't know if it'll ever come up, but I just want you guys to know, um, as a shadow sorcerer, Chewie had to roll for a quirk. Uh, and Chewie's particular quirk is that his heart only beats one time per minute. And sometimes when it happens, uh, it freaks Chewie oh. out. Oh, oh! Oh, oh! Oh, oh! Oh! oh. oh. Like, oh, oh. What was like, that? Like, Some, like something in like my it's, chest? It's just scares him? He's like, Ooh. Babe, it's fine! It's fine. <laughs> it just happened, though. I just thought I'd let you guys know about that. It I happened. It was so fucking funny. It's fine. It happened, though. The first time today. Spooky. Right. Um, with that, it uh, is the end of the Voidwalker's turn. And uh, Magi, it is now your turn. Ooh, I'm looking at these two targets that are hurt. Which one looks hurt most? Which one's um, flashing red? The Imp is definitely looking pretty beat up and is still Ooh. pretty covered in acid. Little Magi is going to take a power stance in her purple dress. I'm going to turn one way with my arms, pivot, and snowflakes are going to start falling from my hands. 
as I feel the cold take over it, and I'm gonna blast a ray of frost right into the imp. Oh my god, so cool. Okay, please roll for... is that just an attack? That's a natural one. Ooh, natural one. Unlucky. No, okay. Dude, do you kill as me? You, I'm gonna mech. <laughs> as you hurl this, um... What is it? Ray of frost? Uh, it's just gonna be like a beam of cold energy. A beam of cold, cool. It's so going to have, this... like, frost in the air. So as this beam of cold light uh, ignites from your the palm of your hand and extends at, in, at, like, drastic speeds towards what you think is your target, um, unfortunately, it impacts what, to your perspective, is nothing. Almost as if your cone, your your beam of ice oh, no! just <gasps> stops midair, and no! unfortunately, you have hit uh, a stealth invisible galley. How much no! damage do you do to galley? I love it. Oh my god! Five points of cold damage. Sorry, man. How many points? Five points of cold damage, right up its body. Oh, galley, you take five. Points of cold damage, and you are unfortunately no longer hidden. Ooh. No. Oh, you don't worry. Don't worry. You weren't supposed Got to be you. there. Imagine dueling Magi. <laughs> Damn it, Magi. Have you learned nothing? Damn it, my brother. After months. Oh, I'm sorry. It's been a while. I... Go to Blacksmith, we say. I stare at Magi. <laughs> Magi. Wait, Lumbermill? <laughs> All right. Magi. Magi. All right. Okay. For Goldshire, so, damn it. Uh, with Magi's turn ending, that will actually bring us to Chance. It is your turn. Chance. Am I chance, in line chance. of sight? Am I in line of sight of Paka? Um, unfortunately, Paka is kind of behind this other. He's on the other side of this bushel of trees, so you can't really see him. Uh, I, I can say that you spot. definitely see you definitely saw Galley get blasted out of stealth. Blasted, God dude. Damn it, dude. <laughs> Fucking blasted, dude. Can I take a move action to to pack it without getting uh, movement encumbered? One, two, three, uh, five, four. ten. Oh yeah, for sure you can. I think. Come on over, buddy. Cure wounds on Paka. Hell, Wait, this yeah. feels nice. so that will be a spell slot that you mark off. Or I think you can only cast it at level one right now. Yeah, but it's level one. Perfect. Um, please roll to and let Paka know how much uh, he is healed. Yeah, what is happening? What I, I don't know doing? what the dice is. It doesn't say on my sheet. Oh, um, sorry. What's the I don't, I don't. It's called cure wounds, and I don't have PHB up. Cure me, daddy. Okay, cure wounds is going to be 1d8 plus your spell casting modifier. So please roll me a d8 chance and then add your spell casting modifier and that's uh, how much you will heal Chewy for. Is it wisdom or is it um for a cleric? I think it's wisdom. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm going to throw up. So I'm going to roll. Oh, yeah, it's wisdom. Sorry. I want to roll. Yeah, 1d8, please, and then add your wisdom modifier. Okay, he takes uh, eight points of healing. And I am right back to where we Fantastic. started, boys and girls. <laughs> I look at Mr. Chance, who I thought his name was Seance for some reason, um, and I, I kindly thank him for the, <laughs> the cure wounds. Shut up and kill the motherfucker right now. Aye, aye, <laughs> Captain. I have always been silent oh, and I deadly. Oh, it's so good. Okay, um, Seance, you want to, or Chance, you want to do anything else on your turn? No, that is my turn because that's round, right? Oh, Fantastic. I'm sorry, oh. sweetheart. I should have been watching that. With that, um, it is now Imp number two's turn. Two. <sighs> um, it is going to notice that its Voidwalker master has kind of moved off into the bushes and started attacking something. He can't make it out from here. Mm. So he's going to start moving over there to assist its Voidwalker Master, but as it does, it notices a rogue just awkwardly standing in the middle of this. I, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. And Gally, it is uh, going to uh, shoot a fireball at you. I'm not like this. Oh, no, Dad. Man, I'm I'm not like this. Dice. That's I don't an 18 like this. to hit. 
18 to hit? Like on my turn. It's like when you forget hit. to vanish that farm. <laughs> Galley, you take seven points of fire damage. No! As this imp just meh, lets a fireball go and it impacts you and I took seven? as it hits your chest. Yeah, I rolled seven. that one. Yeah, you take seven points of fire damage. Okay, um, I need a cleric. With that... Can I let my I know party know how much um, health I'm at? You can say, like, you can call out and be like, Oh, I, I'm hurting. I'm hurt. <laughs> like, I need healing from my cleric. Callie's hurt in first. We're the, in... the drunken dwarf instead of the noble stealth. I have never rogue, lost a duel to a rogue. Who's never lost gold mine once. <laughs> All right, and with I that... once beat Incidents and Chris in the lumber mines. <laughs> um, this imp is going to stay there, but with ending its turn, it is now the other imp's turn, and <laughs> it is going to notice that its buddy just fucking shot a fireball at this rogue, and it's going to do the same thing. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'll use a different dice. I'll use no. That is a twelve to hit. Okay. Oh, the 12 hit galley. So I have to roll against that, right? No, no, does, uh, no. What's your armor class? Does 12 hit you? Oh, shoot. Sorry, 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 sorry. Armor class is 14. Okay, so this imp will actually, like, throw a fireball at you as well, and it's just going to, like, whiz right past you. Um, <gasps> Good shit. Ooh, actually, fuck that. You're a really athletic uh, kind of... Ooh, thank you so mm -hmm. much. Uh, athletic guy. As this fireball is hurled towards you, I'll say you actually do a cool little like uh no-handed cartwheel in the air mm -hmm. and, you, and you it just goes right in between your legs and it sails right past you yep doing absolutely no damage and with Thank that God. it will end its turn bringing us back up to your turn galley you now have a void walker in the tree lines right beside you and an imp that two imps that just threw fireballs at you i've got a personal vendetta against the imps I'm going to ignore this stupid fucking Voidwalker who doesn't mean shit to me. Uh, okay, so this imp in the northern imp was the first one that threw it at me, right? Which uh, is this one right here. Sorry. That one? Okay. I'm going to move... Oh, wait. Before I attack, I... Uh, since I have... Sorry, what's my... My ability is... Sorry, 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 sorry. The fancy footwork. So I want oh, to... Oh, if you're wondering about disengaging the Voidwalker, he is currently attacking Chewbacca and doesn't really know you're there. Perfect. Yes, yes, yes. I want to so disengage... you don't have to worry about that. ...and s sneak back into the shadows. I want to go back into stealth. Fantastic. Okay, I'll say if you want to use a little bit of movement to move into this tree line first, I'll allow yes. you to do the stealth check. Perfect, perfect. I want to go into that tree line. Roll me a d20. D20. Let's roll. Let's roll. Let's roll. Let's roll. I roll a 12. 12, 12, 12. Oh, plus your fucking 8 stealth. Plus 8, so that's a 20. Yeah. Yeah, okay. From what you can tell, you are now in stealth. From what I can tell, now I'm uh, in stealth? Yeah, mm -hmm. from what you can tell, from, from your perspective, mm -hmm. no one saw you disappear. Perfect. Can't With tell that, for sure, but from I, your perspective... Hey. Hey, can I see if he disappeared because he's hurting and I, I'm the healer? <laughs> Unfortunately, that um, stealth check was way too high. Um, where'd yeah. he go, dude? Where, where'd he go? You <laughs> once Crap. again saw Galley just run behind the tree and not exit the other tag. side of the tree. With a vengeance. Yeah, you still I have can... movement, Galley, and you still have, obviously, your action. Perfect. With vengeance, I move towards the imp, and launch a sneak attack. Nah, nah. Fuck this imp, dude. All right. Fuck him. Fuck this imp. So as you stealthily uh -huh. move beside this imp, he has no idea you are there. Yep. And as you slash out with Viskag, um, I would like you to roll me a d20 with advantage uh, to hit. D20 with advantage lands me with a 13 as my highest of the two rolls. I believe your plus hit is six. So yeah, um, that's definitely going to hit. Yep. Please roll me damage. 
Where? Hold on. I want to find where my hit is at on the sheet here. Should be right beside Vitzgag. It should yes. say Vitzgag, and then six. the bubble right beside it should be your mm -hmm. hit. Yep. Hell hit yeah, man! Six, so that is a Please plus roll me your d6 and your two sneak attack rolls. Yep. So uh, one d8 lands me with a, a four plus slashing, and then the sneak attack is two sixes, correct? Correct, and you also have, uh, because of your sword proficiencies, you have, I believe it is a plus six to your damage? Plus, plus six. Okay, so that's a plus ten, and then I'm going to roll my two sixes, which is going to land me with a six and a five, so an eleven Damn. plus ten. I do 21 <laughs> points of damage to this stupid-ass dragon. Hell, yeah. Damage. This dumbass imp that thinks he can launch a fireball at me. Think again, dude. That's all I got to say. As you, you ever met exit voice. stealth, and as you slash viciously into this imp, you just you you don't even because it's so small. Um, you you cleave it right in half. You were going for its head for a decapitation kill, but um, you cleave it right in half. That's right. <laughs> Fucking falls right, to dude. the ground in a smoldering yep. clump of disgustingness. That's right. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> Is that your turn? Damn Don't it, Gally, that was mine! Don't fuck with me. <laughs> Magi, you have no room to talk after you hit my ass with a fireball and ruined the sneak attack. Seriously. As a yeah, fireball. Imagine being tongue. code of golden. That is my attack. I, uh, that is my kill. I don't like talking about code of gold. <laughs> is that how Fuyu beats you? I might have forgotten how to cast it. Oh my god. It's a level like 20 spell. Magi, All once right, again, um, I have to show you how it's done on the battlefield. After Galley's turn. My eyes out, narrow uh, and I focus in. <laughs> I love you guys are just like calling through these tree lines like, hey, I got one. Like, ah, fuck you. <laughs> We're like, I'm like going to the lumber mine. We're like 40 yards apart. I'm like, fuck We're you. We're just like, Magi. hey, yeah. I got one. You're a dick for hitting Hey, <laughs> fuck you, Gally! <laughs> hey! Love fuck it. you, Magoo! <laughs> All <right>. Hey! <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> Alright, as uh, Gally's turn ends, um, Precision, it is your turn. You, from your height, uh, got to see firsthand Gally almost come out of nowhere and just cleave this fucking imp in half. At this time, I'm giggling. And think that I need to show him one up. Ooh. Oh, okay. dirty bird. Uh oh, a dirty bird. Whistle. I move position whistling to get the Void Walker's attention. Okay. Basically, just as loud as I can as I fly to this position. As loud as you can. Okay, it definitely, like, takes notice to your, like, screaming. All right. And. As I fly to my new position, I reverse roll glide backwards, where my back is actually now where my front was, gliding backwards, <laughs> drawing my bow, and winking at the Void Walker as I <laughs> hit him for a natural 20. Oh my god. Oh, oh my holy my shit, god. dude. He dead. <laughs> Yo! Fuck, he's with a with an 11 crit and my, uh, was it spell attack? Hang on a second. For a natural 20, bro. Hat, hat, Hunter's Mark. Two of them. And hang on a second. Oh, he did. <laughs> so 11 plus one. So 12 points of damage. 12 points. Wow. Very nice shot. So as you, um, do this incredible feat mid-air, um, capable only by someone as skillful um, as someone who's been flying so much uh, as yourself. <laughs> Show off! <clears throat> um, you release another bolt from your um, longbow um, that fucking impales as deep as it possibly can into this Voidwalker's um, uh, astral form. And uh, as you do that, it like, like lets out this huge like moan 
uh, enough so that the imps around it actually get distracted by the noise and like divert their attention to the void walker. Um, it's not dead yet, but uh, I will let you guys know it is looking pretty. Smile comes across my face. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, precision? Action. I want to mo now move my hunter's mark over to this imp. Uh, the one closest to the south. Uh, yeah, right here. Okay. Got Perfect. It. That one right there. Perfect. Yep. So the hunter's mark is uh, easily done enough. You move uh, the hunter's mark over to this other imp to the south. And with that, it is... Um, it is Chewie's turn. Oh my god. Passed but out you again, kill eh? Chewie. Too much ale? Oh, he... oh Chewie's AFK. Okay. That's what I said. Yeah, too oh. much ale. He's passed out. Do I want to be a dick? Because technically, Ooh. next on initiative is the Voidwalker. Well, technically, he's stunned now. No, that doesn't make sense because it's it's a party member that has it. So, uh, Magi, it's your turn. Oh, oh, no, no, there's Chewie. Oh, hey, Chewie. You the pirate to has spirit, returned. Maybe. Chewie, it is your turn. The Voidwalker, after taking a bolt from Precision's bow, is looking beat the fuck up. It is I have returned. Life. <laughs> Stronger than ever! Beer in hand! <laughs> what is up, Mr. Voidwalker? It has been a long time. Yeah, what do you want to do to him? I... Would Wait, like... Fucking no, that's mine! I want to kill it! Walk into the center of town! And cast... A second level shatter! For AoE damage! Cool! Ooh. Um, what do you have to do for that? Is it an attack or is it a save? I hope it works! <laughs> it's a one action, 60 range, instantaneous, sudden loud ringing noise, painfully intense. Erupts oh, into the okay. point of your choice within range. I would like to target the Voidwalker and effectively AoE the little demon boys around me. Yeah, okay, so Shatter is, uh, what's the AoE range again? A 10-foot radius sphere centered, centered around the on the walk. point around. They must make a constitution save and throw. All right. The creature takes up to 10 thunder damage on oh, a failed damn. save. Okay, with that, you see this, um, uh, I guess, lightning kind of form around Chupaka's hands as he's channeling this energy trying to like contain it and as he holds it up to the sky it releases and just scatters amongst the surrounding area um i would like uh shit just chance chance please make a constitution save so it's y'all too net 20 sir <laughs> all right hey, um, oh. what happens on a save chewy it's half damage probably so half damage. So uh, roll for damage, then shoot. What am I doing? Roll twenty. No, it's whatever uh, dice it was for the spell. So what was it? A d6 yeah. or a d8? Three d8. Three d8. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh my god, you're gonna kill chance. Oh, okay. kill me. roll Don't me kill three me. d8s, please, and I believe add your fucking. No, it's because it's not hitting. Yeah, just throw me 3d8s. Uh, 5? Uh, 8? And 5? Uh, uh, Oof! Oh that's good. God, Packer. That's a huge hit, dude. 5, 8, and 5. So, 18 damage. So, Seance, or Chance, <laughs> um, you're going to take 9 damage of lightning damage. Ow. Or, or, sorry, of thunder damage. Um, as you do that, um... Was this top imp? Someone hit this top imp. Right? Well, I thought it was a good yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah, Ch um, uh, Chewie did. Yeah, this fucking imp just evaporates as like a bunch of lightning swirls around him, and like, and he just he there's no body. It's a pile of dust on the ground. Fuck Dang. yeah! 
Thanks, and Chewie. Along with that, this Void Walker had literally one health left instead too. That oh, is what you happen man. when you fuck with the Peggle Bagels. There is now um, two bracer shackles that the Void Walker has left in its pile where its corpse was, and a smoldering pile of ash where that first imp was, uh, and only one imp remaining. Very good wow. job, Chewie. Um, I'm guessing high five, good Ellie. Good Come on, Ellie, say hi. Fucking nice, Chewie. Yo, get your high five, bro. Uh, with that, it is Magi's turn. Come on, come mm. play. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna, my eyes are narrowing here. in on this last imp, and I'm going to throw an ice ray at it. I will ask you to probably move five feet to the northwest. Absolutely. And then, yeah, yeah totally. What was the hit? Your uh, boy rolled a two. And in total, that's an oh. eight. An eight? Okay, eight hits. Oh, you're a boy. These imps are not the fastest or smartest fucking things ever. So, uh, yeah, go roll me damage. <laughs> that's going to be four points of ice damage. Four points of ice damage. Okay, mm -hmm. you release this... Um, is it the same beam of ice as before? Absolutely. All right, as this beam of ice connects with this imp and you hear it like, ah, no, it's cold. Um, it's, uh, you said you did eight damage, right? No, four. Four, okay. Um, well, as you see this um, impact, this imp, uh, though it is not dead, you can tell that that ice spell uh, did definitely more damage than it normally would have done. You lost your touch, Magoo. I um I'm working out on some things. I kind of like try to pick myself up, but I like a hey, drop. It looks like nothing has changed. I just like look kind of sad at Galley because I know it's probably him coming up next. Uh huh. Or maybe it's serious. Actually, um, with the end of Magi's turn, it is now Chance. Chance. Uh, is was Galley looking worse for wear? Is he looking healthy? <laughs> Before, um, actually, as you saw Galley jump out and absolutely crush this imp in half, um, Galley, why don't you tell me how your character's feeling? How many My points character. did you take up? As, as feeling... Galley's yelling, Get fucked, Magu! <laughs> My character's like? feeling emboldened. However, however, as excited as he is, he is also feeling Ooh. weakened. The adrenaline push, pushes him through, but he is weak. Second spell slot cure cure wounds. Uh, Did we win? Second spell slot cure wounds is what again? It's the D10? Not the D8. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's still just a D8 at second level? No, I... No, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, it's a uh, cure wounds is a. D8 oh, sorry, plus. you're using it at a first level for a second time. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then yeah, please roll me a D8 plus your Let's spell see. modifier. Yep. Galley, you take seven points back. Seven points back, feeling so much. Better. As uh, Chance touches <laughs> uh, your shoulder, um, his hand starts to emit this um, uh, glowing golden light and you yes. can feel um some of the yes. trauma your body has taken start to feel significantly better all right um anything else for you Sionsi? that's it that's uh, all i can do chance chance not <laughs> fucking chance god damn it i know I all right. you know. <laughs> with that i can't believe uh he actually gets another turn but this imp is gonna get another turn and um, he I is going to on you, look at the situation, and uh, he's going to, he's feeling pretty bad himself, pretty weakened, and uh, he is going to start bolting it towards the south. Wait, can I use my fancy footwork to Drag. accept his dumbass? Uh, unfortunately, fancy footwork only works for you getting out of um, uh, attack opportunities. All right, he still has hunter mark on him. Hey. So 
I fly back down to tell the group as the imp is flying away that he still has Hunter's Mark on him currently. Uh, this does, because it is my favorite terrain. Um, let's see here. Double check this just to make sure. I think it lasts up to... Yeah. So I have a uh, advantage on wisdom and uh, um, um, perception and survival checks to find it. Uh, it lasts for an hour. Fantastic. Oh, actually, you. no. At third, at third, at third level. I'm sorry. I, it lasts for eight hours, so I can track him for eight hours. Cool. Yeah. You. Even though he's fucker. running away, you are pretty 100% sure as far as spatial awareness where this imp is. Uh, with its max speed, it's actually only going to get to this tree line right here in between the buildings, and it will end its turn, bringing us back to the top as Galley's turn. Absolutely. As I'm not stealth, my maximum range is 30, correct? Correct. You, you also have a short bow that has a range of, I think, 60 feet. And the, and the imp is wounded, so... Oh yeah, this imp is, like, fucked up. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him with the short bow. Why not? Hit him with the short sure, bow and stare magic in the attack. eyes as I fuck up this imp. What am I wrong, sir? No, no, That's don't fuck. do it, Kelly. No, not like this. Does anybody want to duel? <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> All right, Kelly. Right. Yeah, roll me a uh, d20 for a hit. D20. And, uh, I rolled a five. five. Plus my hit modifier of six. But what's your modifier? So that's eleven. Yep, that hits. That Please hits. roll for damage. Ooh. All right, roll a d6. Actually, for... nope, it doesn't matter. Okay. He did. It had one HP. You just needed to hit it. He did. Killing blow. I want to stare. That. I want to stare Magi in the face, and I'm gonna scream. And with cause that, because I'm, I'm thirty lot away from you. Galley slams his see that? Gag and into say, the dirt. All I gotta say is two. Zip, baby, to zip. You I just will. see my eyes to and such zip. shame, and me shaking my head like no, no. All right, as the imp, as the imp tries to run away, Gally, um, dead eye shot shoots, sends a bolt right after, and it impales it right through its back. And because of how small the imp is, the bolt goes right through. It's like literally sticking right through this thing's body and it lets out a as it kind of like lets out a big puff of flame and then falls to the ground dead now as it lets out the flaming burst of screams you hear a familiar oh as a void walker emerges from that same tree line oh shit followed by two more fire imps. Ain't nothing I ain't ever seen. <laughs> and um, with the... Actually, since we're just going to stay in combat, it is now Precision's turn. Alright, seeing that, I glide over just above... Uh, the building's still about, uh, roughly about, uh, 75, 80 feet in the air. Fuck yeah. Hunter's mark directly on top of the Void Walker. Void Walker is Hunter's mark. Twenty-seven cool. hits. Twenty-seven hits. Yes, twenty-seven definitely hits. Uh, roll for damage. And plus two. Eight plus. So, uh, nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. Good to know. Fantastic. So, um, as these, uh, this new group of demons emerges from that same, um, uh, tree line, you. You quickly move your position to float above this, uh, above the Goldshire Inn, and you uh, release uh, another bolt from your longbow that impales into the into the Void Walker. Um, then it is 
the Voidwalker's turn, actually. Fantastic. So, uh, the Voidwalker, after just taking this uh, bolt uh, to the chest um, from this flying creature that is hovering above the inn, um, will make a gesture as if reaching up to your precision. And will let out another... And then with that, is going to run up. Right up to the first person he can see, Mr. Galley. Oh, God, again? And he is going to torment you. He's going to reach out and grab you and cast a shadow torment on you. Get fucked. That oh is God. an 11 to hit. I think that missed us. 11 to hit? And my hit is armor class is 14. Yeah, so as this void walker reaches out, trying to grab at you, its hands glowing purple with the torment shadow spell, um, you quickly just take a. You see it coming from a mile away. The void walker is not that fast. And you quickly just make a quick shoulder dodge out of the way and it just completely misses you. Get um, fucked, void walker. You shadowy piece of shit. With that, <laughs> it is Chewbacca's turn. Oh. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Well, we already know what I did last time. So. <laughs> I will venture deep into the heart of the Shire. Uh, you just have to make sure you have, uh, on the... Deep! There you go. Into the Shire. Take, someone needs to tell him to lay off the booze. <laughs> <laughs> well, stay a while and listen. <laughs> After checking my mailbox for any, uh, mail, arcane crystals, <laughs> maybe some lotuses, <laughs> I, uh, I scan the horizon. Soaker. I see so two good. imps. Um, oh my god, one sec. One Void Walker. Okay, so I just I'm rolled listening. a natural 20 on that item search through your fucking mailbox. Mm -hmm. Okay. Natural 20, man. So, fuck. You can actually choose as you're going through this I mailbox. found an Arcanite Dragon. Um, you can either choose to <laughs> have found a, um Arcane Crystal. Ooh! Worth roughly 45 gold pieces. Well, I am down 4 gold, 20 silver, and 69 cents. I wrote <laughs> and that an down. Arcane yeah, you also have a slot out of your pocket. Galley still owes me 25 arcane crystals. <laughs> Wait. No, 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 no. We're, our debt no, is no, paid. No, 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 no. Chewie of Paco. I heard it on stream. No, no, no. I heard it on stream. Did it must be real. From all the uh, No, it is paid. I am actually broke AF now. <laughs> Not anymore. You have found an arcane crystal in the mailbox. I don't yes. know if it was yours or if it was in a letter addressed to somebody. I else, hope it was Ellie's. Fucking, I Just wasted been a good natural to me. twenty on you finding a fucking arcane crystal. Come Hell on. Hell yeah, boys. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what would you like to do for your actual turn after you pocketed this fucking arcane crystal? I, unfortunately, have already shattered. No pun intended. The defenses. Yeah, you fucked up too. You fucked up chance. <laughs> hey, I still love the guy. <laughs> you shocked him. <laughs> I am going I love, to look. Okay. <laughs> at homie Voidwalker, to my right, Voidwalker, all right, and cast a chilly touch on my buddy. Ooh, nice. Ooh. That is just a range an spell, I believe. With a cantrip, yes, sir. It so is. please wow. roll me a d20 and add your charisma modifier. Ooh, it's like it's too easy. 15. And should we throw in an extra 3 on top of that? For that 18? Hit. Wow. Please roll for damage, and I believe as a success, uh, the Voidwalker can also not heal itself for the next turn due to Cold Touch. 4. Four, good to know. Awesome. <laughs> Voidwalker takes four points of cold damage as you reach out. Um, uh, your hand kind of glows this misty blue color as uh, this astral 
deathly hand flies out and and grabs the void walker and as it dissipates into the void walker's form uh you can tell that the chill is sent throughout the entire void walker dealing a, a pretty good amount of cold damage i didn't want to hurt you again chance i'm sorry <laughs> fantastic it. uh with that magi it is your turn and all right one. let's rewind just a couple seconds ago when galley down the last imp and i'm just imagining a cinematic like split screen of the imp dying and crying out and little magi as well yelling out in pain and falling to her knees but as soon as precision let loose an arrow at another uh enemy i knew that i had another chance so with determination i'm going to walk over here look at one of those imps and I'm going to cast Chromatic Orb Ooh. in cold damage. Ooh, I fantastic. Grit roll. Natural one. Oh my god. Ah, I'm going to take one of these oh dice. <laughs> Gally, he's going to kill Wait, 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 wait. wait. You're a gnome, right? Magi. Can I use my inspiration? You can use lucky, You can right? use your inspiration that Gally gave you earlier. Yay! <laughs> So right before I was about to fuck up, I just clutch a glimpse at Galley, looking oh. like he knows I'm about to fuck up. No. And that's much better. That's going to be a 14. Fuck yeah, 14 hits. Uh, roll for damage. Oh my god. <laughs> Hell yeah. Are you going to hit me Code again, of Magi? 3d8 of cold. All right, that's going to be... Uh, 13 points of cold damage. Oh my god. As I let loose this, like, <laughs> frost bolt right onto right one of those. Where? Would you like the left or the right? I'm gonna kill the right one. Hell yeah. Alright, so as you release this spinning orb of frozen energy at this imp, mm. upon impact, it, it completely explodes and evaporates, and you can see ice crystals start forming over the imp's skin even though the imp is like shrouded in flames even the flames seem to be freezing and uh with one last little it dies oh. magi I looks smiley over a galley it's still two to one point at him i'm coming for you why do you guys always argue about who's better we already <laughs> know who's best <laughs> If I'm coming out of retirement, are you I'm going to have some fun. Game? Oh my god. t raps is best. I'll bet um, an arcade crystal on a duel. Oh, mm. That's 45 gold. You guys can actually do stuff with that if you wanted. Yeah. Chewy's after rich. battle, food packer. Alright, after Magi's turn concludes, just absolutely decimating this one imp before it can even really join the battle. Uh, the other imp uh, will now make its turn, and after receiving its command from its master Voidwalker... Bro, I didn't get my turn. Um... Yeah, sorry, this new imp actually has a higher initiative than you. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, so, this imp, uh, after hearing the Voidwalker's last commands, is going to make a fireball attack at this uh, flying Aarakocra that's been just flying around, sending bolts at everyone. That's a six to hit. Oh, oh Precision's not there. I'm gonna assume that a six no, I'm does here. not hit. I'm here. Oh, what's up, man? I just don't see your face. I'm guessing yeah. a six doesn't hit you, right? Yeah, no. Cool. <laughs> so as no. this imp sends uh, a fireball up your way, it's a pretty far distance anyways because you're pretty high up. Uh, you have plenty of time to literally just yeah, wait. You just kind of fly off to the side for a bit. You just let that fireball soak right past you. You go back. Love it. Or With that, um, <laughs> it is. Can I, oh, give actually, him another, I give him another wink. Said I'll be with you shortly. Uh, with that, the imp's actually going to do the same thing the last imp did, which was look around, seeing that it's completely outnumbered and about to die, and it's going to start running up this way, actually using its max distance, and it's going to get to about there. And now, that will bring us to you, Chance. Oh wait, the Voidwalker's still up. Yeah, understood. Sorry, sorry Voidwalker's still up. Um, 
Understood. I need to go into the inn. I'm going to pull out my healing kit because um, some crazy shadow spooky boy, you know, hit me pretty good. It's you not know. your boy. It's not your boy. It's not the boy. And I'm pulling out my healing kit and I need to um, do the bandage, you know. Got you, brother. You know, the bandage thing and, and all that. <laughs> of course. Um, is do you are you using any item or is it just like a medicine check you're trying to like stabilize? No, it's a healing feat. You can use a healing oh. one healing kit. Use you, you, you can also use healing kit to restore one d four plus four plus number equal to target's hit dice. Sure, go ahead and uh, roll me that dice then. Shoot. So yeah, because I, I was I took a little damage. You know, uh, I'm I'm at twelve health. It's a great. A little damage. That spell fucked. Fucked everything up in Goldshire. Let it be known. Um, uh, for Meta's sake, I will say that this um building right here. I fucked that building up. Uh, definitely has a pretty significant uh, amount of thunder damage to it. <laughs> nice. Uh, Damn let's it, see. <laughs> so the first this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> hey, folks, I asked by any means hey. necessary. I asked Bovar. And then you got you necessary. got Magood out of stealth. <laughs> got Magood out of stealth. All right, Chance, uh, sorry, how much healing? <laughs> Magood out of stealth. I got to roll the rest of the time. good, all I care about is just killing things. Don't care about I that. am almost done. On, I am second, almost guys. in my final form. Just want to hear the healing from Seance. How much, buddy? Sixteen. Damn, son. All right. Take yeah, that healing kit is nice in fifth edition. Holy crap! Wow. <laughs> All right, take that Very healing. Nice. Do you so, want to do anything else on your turn, Chance? No, that puts me back full. <laughs> Legit. That brings us back to the top of the table, Galley. It is your turn. You currently have a Void Walker sitting in front of you. I sure do. However, he has a Viscag. I have a Viscag. But I have the upper hand, because I'm I have a building to my character's left. I'm gonna jump behind this motherfucking building. Ooh, I'm trying to drag my character. Ooh, I I'm will let you I'm know the... just because this is the first battle. Um, you will either need to use your bonus action to disengage, or you will need to use fancy footwork, which unfortunately only triggers after you make a melee attack on said creature. Oh, so I can't so do a sneak attack on If you want to use fancy footwork, him. you will have to attack him first. Uh, because of your rakish audacity, being a swashbuckler, you can use sneak attack almost under any circumstances. So you will, you can just slash him in the face right now and still get sneak attack. Oh, okay. Hell gonna, yeah, I, brother. I'm gonna do that shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneak attack this bitch and then hide behind this fucking <laughs> building over here. Let's Fuck do yeah. it. Fuck uh, yeah. Roll me uh, a d20 for an attack roll. All right, we hits. rolled a nine. Uh, plus my hit, correct? Uh, hit modifier plus six. Yes. Um, so that is a fifteen. That does, hit. that does not hit. Unfortunately, on the Void Walker, the fifteen does not hit. So oh um, my uh, god, you will swing out at this Void Walker and um, run back. I, I, this I, I let, seems I a little a... too heavy for you at the moment. I let out oh, a, no. a a funny cough. His yeah, balls are too blue. I'm trying to pretend oh. like I didn't see that. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, ha. Galley, I drink you, more glass. As, as Viscag uh, impales itself into the dirt, you hear a ha <laughs> ha uh, coming from somewhere. You, you're not quite sure where. It sounds oh, higher I'm up. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I know. I'm aware. <laughs> I don't know, but I know. <laughs> You might not know exactly where it came from, but you know the voice. And you, you I know the voice. It. <laughs> oh, God, guys, it happened again. Holy it shit. happened again? <laughs> Your heartbeat? Oh, oh. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, with that, Galley, you can now use, since you made oh, an attack God, it's against okay, yes. the Void Walker, right. you can use your fancy footwork to disengage the enemy without an attack of opportunity. <clears throat> and if you'd yes. like, you could use your bonus action to hide in the trees. I'm going to do that. I'm going to use my fancy footwork bonus action, hide behind this fucking building, so this Void Walker can't see me. Fantastic. Please roll me a stealth check. Yep. 
we will roll. Uh, I feel like that's going to be a thing with you, Galley. Please roll me a stealth check. <laughs> roll me a stealth check. Roll me a stealth check. Uh, roll a five. Plus my stealth is plus eight. Uh, oh, oh, I forgot about that fucking plus eight. Holy shit. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I should um, be good. That's from, a 13. From your perspective, you slunk into the shadows, and from everything that you can understand, you're completely invisible. Good. Uh, with that precision, it is your turn. Excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, maintaining my position, I still have Hunter's Mark up on uh, the creature. I draw back my bow with precision. And. <laughs> it's like when they say oh, the movie yeah. title, dude. Let's do it here. Right. <laughs> oh my god, he said it! <laughs> and. I pull a 18. Oh, 18 oh hits. Uh, you're going for the Imp or the Voidwalker? I am going for the Voidwalker. 18 hits. All right. Now, looks like 11 with my bow. I'm also going to be utilizing uh, Colossus Slayer. Once per okay. turn, I can hit the creature with a weapon attack. The creature it takes 1d8 if it's below its HP maximum. Which it is. Let me go ahead and hit my d8. Thirteen, and then spell for the hunter's mark. Seventeen points of damage. Seventeen. Oh okay. Wow. Jesus. So as you release right, this um, bolt from your longbow, uh, it goes straight through the void walker, impaling uh, the bolt impales into the tree actually behind the void walker, and its shackles fall to the ground as it evaporates. Yeah, well, wow. that's how you do it. Oh my that's god! Fucking nice. Ragging. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, Chewy, it is now your turn. Well, there's one lonely well, imp left. Well, Siance, are you coming back on on uh, video? Siance, I would like to say. Um. Okay. okay. Chewy approaches the lonely, lonely <laughs> imp. <laughs> I love it. And as a sorcerer of dark, the darkest, the deepest, the darkest meta magic. He's prepared Funny. to fuck <laughs> this imp. I'm glad up. you continued that sentence for a second. He's prepared to fuck. <laughs> you will continue. <laughs> Sorry, I lagged out. As uh, he circled he's... around hey, his hey, can, you, can you roll for charisma there with that imp? Can you? <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> Let's talk to the dungeon master. <laughs> Roll a... I have the largest charisma in here. Roll a persuasion check. Oh, yeah? Check. <laughs> oh, yeah? What is oh, persuasion? Yeah? Your charisma is the biggest, What huh? is this? Plus five? Plus... He, yo, uh, Chewie's probably got the highest uh, Eight charisma. Eight plus five is... Thirteen? Thirteen. Am I um, enough? Unfortunately, uh, though... The imp notices you are a very sexy dwarf. As uh, it's as not persuasive huge. as I am, that's not what I am good at. I am good at destroying <laughs> the offensive. So I raise my hand. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. And uh, use yeah. it. You know, well, if I can't fuck the imp. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess I'll kill it then. I'm gonna use a couple of spells here because it's a sorcerer. <laughs> I'm going to meta magic this bitch back into existence. Okay. Starting with a splash of acid. Sure. Um, uh, that is a save. No, that's just a DC attack, right? Just attacks. Yes. We'll start with that. I like Roll to take a D20 it easy. Effort. And add your charisma, please. <laughs> God, oh, I Lord. Two. 
<laughs> plus three is Ooh. uh 50 or five is five yes sir unfortunately five does not hit as oh. i, I look around goldshire as all the bystanders are unimpressed ellie nowhere <laughs> to be seen my friends at the bar nowhere to be seen <laughs> um no pog champs in chat. no no pog champs in the chat <laughs> no pog. i ask to use my sorcerer skills of meta magic to twist and quicken my spells cast oh. a second using sorcery points to cast another action fuck yeah man what do you want to cast this time acid has not been very helpful so we will look at the lonely imp and cast the chill touch <laughs> the lonely oh let's go and if this doesn't work Roll then it's back to the bar back to fucking I have, a, I have a chance to tie the 14. whole thing 14 hits roll for damage please Eighteen. Wait, eighteen? Eighteen. No, probably roll like a D8 or a D6. Yeah, okay, my spell, not a D20, sorry. Five. Five, okay, five. Uh, and it's cold damage, very good to know. So as you Because he's the fire boy. This he's chilly touch, it grabs mm. the imp by its throat before it dissipates. And you can tell that this imp is, though still alive, Chilled to the bone and it is looking really fucking rough. Um, with that being said, it is Magi's turn. Yes, 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 no. Joey, yes. I say all this for the whole time, jumping up and down in joy as I walk right up to the imp with glowing oh, crossed hands. No. And I'm going to cast one no, but to roll them all. Roll Fuck a one, roll critical failure, please. No, as an 18, one. baby. 18 hits, roll damage. <laughs> and that's going to be 10 points of ice damage. Fuck yeah, man. 10 points of ice damage. Uh, you just obliterate this fucking imp. Uh, Woo! Any, as like you, fireworks. Like ice fireworks. Sure. As you blast into this imp, uh, instead of red flaming explosions as this body disintegrates, it, it's actually a blue sparkly mist that kind of drops a couple of snowflakes onto the ground before they instantly melt. And he is dead! Congratulations, everybody. Can I make a performance check as I look around at probably the scared shitless bystanders of Goldshire and do a bow? I wanna there do are event. still a few bystanders who hadn't quite made it out of um, the evacuation that was going on. So yeah, sure, make a performance check. That's another natural one. Okay, I would like um, to search the bodies for oh gear and weapons. I would like to head up to number seven to see what the fuck is in there. Yeah, Chewy, go by all means make your way up there. As that happens, we'll say um, Precision <laughs> lands on the ground and starts um, ruffling through the piles of ashes slash... Um, I'll make my way to see. Oh, look, guys, the there's corn out here. Um, Magi, as you bow to the... Um, innocent bystanders that are still uh had not had the chance to evacuate um they kind of look confused as you kind of give this bow gesture as of i just saved you single-handedly from these demons and um they will instantly turn to galley <laughs> and they will um show me uh, one, the closest one will drop to her knees and um, say thank you thank you so much as she grabs galley's hand um I don't know if uh, my children would have survived without your help. Thank you. Thank you so much as as they kind of like scurry off into the distance. I let the woman kiss my viscag as a sign of appreciation. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> with a confused face, um, she does it just because uh, she's so like in shock and, and mm -hmm. scared of what just yeah. happened. So um, That's what's up. Very yeah. confused. Uh, she mm -hmm. will kiss the steel of viscag. Does anything happen to her? No. That's it. Cool. Turns 
No, she gets the she gets the honor of kissing my Viscag. You know what I mean? That's just it. Like, oh my God. what else needs to happen? <laughs> the Not legendary like sword. All right, so Chewie has gone up to the most northernest building. I would guy. like to know what is inside here. Uh, it right, has cool. a number. It has a name. It has no <laughs> reason right, to be up Chewy. there without something. I question why it is here. I look around everywhere. So, uh, Chewie, as you enter the building, yes, um, to your glee, it is a fully stocked tavern. <gasps> it is so much currently power. also to your glee, completely, utterly empty. There is no one manning the bar. There are no patrons sitting around like no guests it's a completely empty bar fully stocked and all right boys let's do this Leroy! as, as oh. chewy is ruffling around in his newfound heaven the rest of the group that are currently still centered in the center of the town here start to feel a strange sensation all of a sudden, you hear. Oh, oh great! The ground starts. Shaking. Ellie with actually blood elf. Chance, uh, while still inside the Goldshire Inn, you can see Jurassic Park style uh, a, a, an abandoned glass of water, and as each thunderous clap hits, you can see the, the ripples emanating from the center of the cup. I want to take uh, oh, uh, about 100 feet in the air when I hear the <laughs> ground shaking and see if I can actually see anything coming in towards us. For sure, precision. Please make me a perception check. Check in and it is going to be uh, eight. An eight. Not very high, but this thing is not hiding whatsoever. Uh, you see, off oh, to the fuck. western side of the town, oh, moving what slowly. Is what is it? I cow back down to the ground. Guys, we have a demon coming in. Get ready. A you big demon? For you, a massive fell guard. Do I have time for one more stout? A very large sword. Um, Chewy, you have no idea this is happening. Oh, even better. Chewy. From your perspective, <laughs> Chewy, the battle is over, and you're just chilling in a bar by yourself. <laughs> he's almost <laughs> upon us. <laughs> Guys, he's almost upon us. Um, Ooh. yes, as um precision warns you about the oncoming demon, he will enter the town square. Okay. And I need let to go into stealth. A massive roar. I didn't stealth we're behind the keep inn. The initiative that we had from before. I'm just going to roll for the Felguard. Oh, okay. wow. New initiative? Actually, 